Welcome back, everyone, to Banjo Tooie. My name is Pygmy Rhino, and this is part two. So we're gonna get going right away. I have to remember all my controls. Oh, cinematic or mini cinematic? Minimatic? I don't, I don't know. This game is, as I said in the first video, the sequel to Banjo Kazooie. It is the harder one, in my opinion, and a lot of people's opinion. And, um,. We're gonna try and play it all the way through. And yeah. I never see Let's Plays to the end, but I hope to see this one to the end, so we're gonna do it. Also, I have it on the N64 and it lags to hell, so I'm glad I'm playing it on the emulator, as you can see on the bottom. Oh, okay. What am. <laughs> Off to a great start. That's Jam Jars. He's the guy that teaches you the moves in this game. Because Bottles, if you if you guys have played the first game, Bottles is the one that teaches you how to do the moves, and he is dead. I know, right? E-rated. Oh, transitions are gonna be tough. E-rated game, and they already killed a major character. But we're gonna keep going. And this is the first boss fight. Technically, it's a mini boss, but uh, Klungo, who served as a minor antagonist in the first game, is now a semi major antagonist in the second game. Alright, I, I remembered how to skip dialogue, but I won't do that because some people watching may have never seen this game before because it's so old. Oh god, I gotta find the right one. Gotcha. Clever Klungo, hide behind magic shield. Now show bear my special potion. I'm gonna be doing voices for all the characters, by the way, or that I deem necessary. Last one. Hello. Also, the graphics are a bit better on an emulator version of this game. They're a bit more smooth. He's always the last one to move. There he goes. Gotcha. Bleh. Nasty Baron Bird hurts poor Klongo. You asked for it! Why don't you run off and we'll forget this ever happened? You're good idea, but you've not seen the last of Klungo. Klungo coming, mistress. Please beat failure Klungo with broomstick. Yeah, I'm not good at voices, but I try. At least I try. Anyways, we're going this way. Gotta use the Talon truck. Oh, Talon truck. There we go. Yeah, I'm playing with a Logitech controller, so it's not like an N64 controller where the Z is on the back of the controller. I'm using it like the Z is on the top right, like a GameCube controller. So it's a little bit difficult, but it works. Okay, that was a long transition. But now we are here. Welcome to Jinjo Village, the kind of first area in the overworld Isle of Hags. We're going to be visiting here a lot. These silos here that Jam Jars is talking about, they will teleport you to different areas around Isla Hex, but I only have one so far, so I won't be able to teleport anywhere. All these are the Jinjo houses. They uh, they all got kidnapped again by Grunty, and um, one of them got completely destroyed. Overall, this game is a lot darker than the first Banjo Kazooie. Okay. We gotta go visit King Jingling. Oh yeah, sometimes enemies won't even drop honeycombs, which is different from the first game, where every enemy dropped a honeycomb. And also, enemies respawn in this game. So overall, it's a lot harder and a lot darker. That's what she said. King Jingling's throne room! Also, fun fact, he's petting the thing that uh, the guy from Gobi's Valley in the first game had. Yo, what's up? I'm King Jingling, king of all things Jinjo and ruler of this village. He has the same voice as Klungo. Your kingdom seems a... Oh, I missed it. 
My people were scared away by those witches and their giant machine. I kinda like it quiet, but I need to get them all back for the kickball tournament next week. Sounds like William Shatner. Doesn't seem that important to me! But it is. There's a big kickball rivalry. I'm changing his voice every two seconds. Between the gingers and the moles. Which means there could be trouble if we don't turn up. Oh dear. Exactly. No, <laughs> he has the same voice as Banjo. Anyway, here's an incentive for you to rescue my people. Ah, the ever famous jigsaw piece. Or jiggy, as they're called in the Banjo Kazooie series. You're going to collect a lot of those. I believe you should see Master Jiggy Wiggy in his temple now. Jiggy who? Jiggy Wiggy! He's the leader of a secret and ancient order dedicated to the mystical powers of the Crystal Jiggy. He said a lot of things that I didn't really say him properly. You just made that up, didn't you? No, honest. It's all true. He's very important to your adventure, as only the Crystal Jiggy can open the worlds that you must enter. Wow, he's a talkative little bastard. It'll be my pleasure. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> that camera, though. Whee! Hey! Ah! Oh, this is good. There we go. Bee doo boom bee bee boo boo. Anyways. Not bad for a king, huh? Yeah, his strange pet thingy was cool. Let's go and find that Jimmy Wiggy then. Ah. Uh. Meanwhile. Boom. Boom. Too low. <laughs> Soundtrack, of course, made by the wonderful and amazing Grant Kirkhope, my favorite composer, if you know anything about me. Ah, ding pot I can hear in the background. Come on, sisters, time I lack. What's the plan to get my body back? Annoying your rhyming is, so stop it or we will not tell. O. I look, all those syllables are an O. <laughs> B-O-B this is. Big O Blaster, built by Minji and me. Or Mingy. Life force from ground, plants, and creatures. It can suck. Store it in big tank, life force is. Shower Grunty will take when tank full. Then new body you will have. An evil and heartless plan. I like it. How long will it take to suck up enough life force? Not slim you are, so plenty we will need. Or plenty will be needed. So start blasting! Patient you must be. Target you first must pick. That cursed jingling has just given the furry fool a jiggy. Yep. Alright. I'm not gonna read everything. You guys can read. I'll do voices here and there. Suck. I like how it says blow and suck. Euphemism. Rare is full of those rareware games. Begin the firing sequence. Uh oh. What's going on here? God damn it, Bob.
So now, that awesome King Jingling that just gave us a Jiggy, he is a zombified mess. And look at the poor little thing on the couch hiding from him. Oh, his eyes are clipping through his crown. Okay, that's just a fault of the emulator. Alright, so she needs like five things. So Bob has to charge. Hours it will take. Fun fact, it actually takes as long as you take for the game. Mole. <laughs> Alright, the stage has been set. Let us continue on to Bottle's house. Yeah, I like this music a lot. So you're gonna hear me humming it. Oh, lag. You're gonna hear me humming it or singing it. And you're gonna deal with it, because you like it. And I like it. And we like each other. Yeah. Okay, Bottle's house. We don't need to talk to Mrs. Water. No. No. But, um... I think we have to go this way to get the, uh... Because right now, if you use your C up, you can't go, um... You can't zoom in and out with left and right C. But once you talk to one of Bottle's kids, he gives you the, uh... Amazogaze goggles. Oh, I guess it was the other way. And the Amazogaze goggles will let you see... Well, you zoom in. Sorry, I can't talk today. I also just woke up an hour ago. Is it here? Also, fun little cameo. There's a Jet Force Gemini picture right there. It's another game by Rareware. Hello, Bacho! Hi, Goggles! Since you and Daddy are such good friends, I give you these prototype glasses he's working on. Did he finish working on them, by any chance? Oh yes, I believe they're called the Amazogaze glasses. How do they work? I know how they work. Oh, okay. Yeah, left and right, C. Not bad. Alright, so now, as you can see, I can go like this and go, whoa! Oops, okay, we didn't mean to do that. And go, woo! Alright, we're continuing on. Bottle's house is nice and all, but we have bigger fish to fry. He has an Ash Ketchum hat on. Hi, Specky. Me and Dad are going to play in the King Paul tournament next week over at the Pine Stadium. King Jiggling is organized as a penalty for my dad since he's a hero. Er, I don't so <laughs> Sorry about that voice. Why would we need some of the dudes? My dad is the best on the team. I'm sure he was, er, is. And did you know that tunnel over there is my secret way out of the village? You might find it useful. We already know that. King Dangalang is a personal friend of ours. He opened it up especially for us. Nice. <laughs> Alright, see you later, weirdo. Looks like I'll only have enough time in this video to open up the first world, and then that's it. So I'll show you how to do that. This is Isle of Hags again. This is the main overworld music. You're going to be hearing this music a lot when you play this game. And much like Banjo-Kazooie, where Gruntilda's Lair's music, would the arrangement would change depending on what level you were in front of, it happens here too. Let me show you. So he told us to go over to that gold temple over there, but we're actually going to stop at this gray stone structure. See how the music changed? That's because this... No. I was like, where's the base? Okay, there we go. And this is Mayhem Temple. This is the first level. Ah, uh, alright, thank you. Yes, I know. You need one Jiggy to enter this level. We don't have... We have the one Jiggy, but we haven't opened the level yet. So instead of fitting puzzle pieces into puzzles, and losing the puzzle pieces, um... I'd like to talk to this guy. I'll, or roll around him. There we go. Um, 
So instead of wait, instead of uh, depleting puzzle pieces by putting them into pictures, we do moving puzzles in this game, and we don't actually lose the G's that we use. Uh, I like his voice. He's just a jiggy on his side with eyeballs on top. So he's like, you need jiggies if you want to come in here. And you need a certain amount of jiggies before I can even open the fracking door. So there he goes. He opened the door for us. And McJiggies, yeah. It's a McDonald's reference. So now, long cinematic. Bombo. Greetings, O Chosen One. You have entered the sacred temple of Jiggy Wiggy. Approach the golden monolith if you wish to prove yourself worthy. Alright. So we go over here, we stand in front, and we press B. It zooms in, and then we put. Oh, okay. And then we put together a puzzle that is moving. And as the game gets harder, these puzzles get harder as you as the more levels we open up. So you have to pick up a piece with A and put it down with A. <coughs> <coughs> Got it. You have a hundred seconds, so don't even feel pressured to do anything. Well, at least finish the puzzle. No, that's not, right there. Even though I only had one jigsaw piece, I'm using like four. Where does this go? What the hell? Where does this one go? Oh, right here. Oh, I was like, it's black on that side. Okay, that's just a texture error for the uh, um emulator. But that's all right. All right, so I can work around that. Do 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 do. And so he massages the air and turns on this little thing. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. I'm gonna slow down because it's transitioning. There it goes out of the temple. And it's gonna zoom in on Mayhem Temple after it slows down. Boom! Instead of breaking apart, it opens like a normal thing. So there we go, first level is open. There's one more thing I wanna do after it slows down before I stop this video, and I am going to do that. Remember those silos from Jinjo Village? We are going to activate the silo in here. Oh! I stopped because he's good. Now Jam Jar is going to say something when Jiggy Wiggy's done. Okay, we don't need you. Sounds like an air horn. Beep, 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 beep. Alright. Anyways, it's approaching 20 minutes in this video. Well, it's 18.24 right now. Yeah, lock me out, sure. Wooded Hollow, that's what I was thinking of. Um, the silo for Wooded Hollow, after I kill this guy, is right here. So now, if I wanted to, I can jump in here and go back to Jinjo Village. It really helps once more of, more of the overworld gets unlocked as you go. So now I'm back in Jinjo Village, but we're going to go back to Wooded Hollow. <clears throat> and I want to thank you all for watching this video. I will see you in the next video when we tackle the first level, Mayhem Temple. Goodbye!